want to give a very brief introduction for the next speaker. Susan Pritzker is a Pitzer parent and she has been on the board since 1990. Her son Joby, who just had his first child, graduated from Pitzer. And Susan is a very, very special person to me because she hired me. <laughs> and <laughs> she took a huge gamble. Uh, you know, I was fairly young to be a president. I had been a dean for five years. And um, she has been my constant source of support, great advice, and an enormous, wonderful sense of the world and how people work. We are so fortunate to have her here at Pitzer College. She was the first female board chair at a time when that is all too rare. And she is my great, great friend. Good afternoon and evening. <laughs> There's something great about being towards the end of a program like this because virtually everything that I was planning to say has been said. So I can keep this very brief. Um, adding uh, to Deborah's comment about what a, what a joy it is to see orange everywhere. Um, to Paula's comments about the experience of being both a parent and then a, a subsequently a trustee here at this amazing place. Um, I've had um, some of my most important learning experiences here. I've made some of my most important friends here. Um, and it's been, uh, it's been a journey that I treasure every, every step of. Um, I, I came to the board um, thinking it was rather amusing that they wanted me to be a trustee because in my head, college trustees were male, elderly, suited and and very intelligent and I didn't fit really any of those categories and in fact came to Pitzer with a fairly checkered academic career. I had I had a degree, I had a bachelor's degree, but I had attended five university colleges and universities to get it um, over the course of eleven years. So I, I guess that gave me a certain other kind of experience. <laughs> Um, in the old days when I used to speak about Pitzer a lot, when I was board chair, the phrase that I, one of my catchphrases I'll repeat for you, which was, lots of places say they are unique, but this one truly is. And it was unique when it started, and it was unique all the way through its, its early history, and it's retained that spirit of special, unusual Pitzerness right up through to the present um, under the guidance of gifted faculty, wonderful administrators, and um, a whole, all of, the, all of the people of the community that make this place uh, as special as it is, not the least of whom are our students. Um, a few, some, sometime last year, or the, maybe late the year before, some of my trustee cohort and I started talking about funding one of the one of the projects for this campaign, um, namely the residence hall that we are going to name and dedicate here today. My my dear friend Herschel Abelson, who is not able to be here, was the instigator of this and um, felt that it would be appropriate for the trustees to um, to do this together. Um, he. Um, recruited um, Margot Levin Schiff and myself and then subsequently Laura to be the, the funders of what we are um, what we're going to call 2014 Hall to mark this year and this moment in Pitzer's history um, in big bold letters on top of the bill on the front of the building um, and now I lost my thread. <laughs> oh, oh, I know. The one thing I was going to say is that um, uh, amongst, between us, among us, between us, among us, uh, Margo and Herschel and I represent over 80 years of trustee service <laughs> to this college. Um, and with that, and, and 
I, of course, want to add my congratulations and best wishes and happy birthday to this wonderful, amazing, incredible place. And we have a mock-up of the, uh, you and I are supposed to pull the thing off. So thank you, everybody, for being here. Enjoy.